talk, take me through the drive. I know offensively things were, you know, wasn't always easy for you guys, but uh, at least you made it look easy on that last drive. But can you take me through it? What was the mind? What was your mindset? What was kind of the mindset in the huddle? And what what clicked? What made it work so well? Um, well, first of all, we just knew we just had to believe on the sidelines. You know, we didn't have any doubt. I mean, it was a different. It's a different mentality going into that last drive. So we didn't have any doubt. Um, you know, I think the line blocked their ass off on that last drive. Um, you know, plenty of time back there. We just made plays. Things just opened up, and we were just opportunistic um, going into how we planned to win. We talked about being so opportunistic, and I think that was really um, the main factor in that. It's just guys got open, line blocked, and uh, gave it to the open guys. About the last play to JD, the bootleg call. It looked like that might have been a play that might have worked even earlier in the game. But you just think that play was coming, and uh, what did you think when you saw him? It looked like he was wide open. What did you see when you when you kind of saw right, him? Right. Yeah. Um, you know, we ran it a few times in practice this week. Um, I knew it was in the game plan, and when he called it, I was happy. Just you know, there's quite a few options on that play, um, whether it be to JD or the guy coming across or running it in. So I knew that. Um, I knew we were in field goal range, so I knew we had that. So it potentially could have gone to overtime, but. I'm glad. I'm glad they've been on the play action, and JD was wide open, so it was awesome. Cool. Col Sorry, Colby. What was, what was, you know, after that completing that pass, just kind of an outpouring of emotion. You know, just what what are you thinking after you know you lead the team on a, on a drive like that, and you finally punch it in there? Uh, it was unbelievable. I've been part of a few games where two minute drive didn't go so well, so to overcome that obstacle was, was what I wanted. It's what it's why we play the game, really. I mean, we all. On the sidelines, we kept talking, you know, this is why we play the game. Saturday night lights, underneath the lights, chance to win here in the fourth quarter, two-minute drive with your best friends, your family, and we did it, and it was awesome. What is this year happened in the early parts where you guys weren't able to? I know they did a good job of stuff in the run where they just stacked in the box. I mean, what was kind of going on for a good part of the game where, the, where you guys just couldn't get it consistently going offensively? Uh, no, Air Force is a good team. I think part of that is a tribute to them and their defense, I think. They came out and played really well. Um, we didn't convert enough on third down. I was just looking at the stats. We didn't convert enough, and whether it be they played well or we just missed a little thing, we just we just got to stay more consistent. Um, that's really the main thing. I mean, I think you know whether they had the right call for our call and the third downs. We just gotta we just gotta get that third down conversion number up. Is this your first career game winning drive? This is. Uh, junior college. Now, this is, I'm pretty sure. So it was, you practice it, uh, you hope to get that chance, and uh, glad I did get the chance. Cool. Six of seven. Six of seven on that last drive there. Six of your 23 completions for the whole game. Was there something that clicked in that drive differently than what was going on in the passing and for the rest, for previous to that? I don't think so. I think the guys just got open. Um, we ran a couple different plays that we hadn't ran earlier in the game. And, you know, Coach Began called a great drive there at the end. Um, so I don't think there was a whole lot different. I just think that we knew we had to get in the end zone. We knew everyone had to do their job, and everyone did. So we got it. Kobe, there were certainly some questions about the quarterback position over the offseason, and we saw a different Kobe Kierkegaard tonight. Um, does this performance that you had tonight maybe give you a little bit more confidence uh, uh, moving forward? Yeah, I think so. You know, um, Last game we didn't throw the ball as much. Um, I think there's a lot of obstacles that were overcame in this game, whether it be another Mountain West team that we played, um, a two-minute drive, being down at halftime. We just we just didn't give up, and I think as a team we grew a lot tonight. This is what we get expect from Wyoming: just keep it close the first half, tire them out by the third quarter, and then open it up in the fourth quarter. I can't predict the games. I don't know. Uh, I know we're not going to give up. <laughs> I know we're going to finish. I know if we got a chance to win in the fourth quarter, we're going to do everything we can to win that game. You guys look like you're not. You look like you're still fit, not tired. The other guys look like tired and weak, and that's but late in the game. That's when usually you guys pull ahead. Right. Yeah. That could be a tribute to our uh, our altitude or our, our strength staff, um, or just our mentality. I guess um, I think it's a combination of everything. So. That's a good thing. That's a good thing that we finished strong. Um, I know in the past years we've struggled in the second half a little bit, so it's, uh, it's a nice change of pace. Thanks, Colby. Yep. Thanks.